In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to gain access to a client's Facebook ad account so that you can run ads for them. So let's quickly get right into the tutorials. Now, for you to gain access to a client's Facebook ad account so that you can run ads for them, the client will need to create a business portfolio. And right inside the business portfolio, the client will need to create an ad account which you can gain access to it by creating your own portfolio and you can connect your portfolio to the client's portfolio which will then give you access to the client's ad account so that you can use to run ads all right let's go ahead to see how you can do that go to google and type in business.facebook.com next you're going to log in with your facebook profile and then you're going to land on a page like this and the first thing you're going to see is your facebook page now, when you create a Facebook page, automatically that page comes with an ad manager account. Now, if you don't know what the ad manager is, it's basically where you run your ad. So that is what you're going to need in order to run your ads. So if you were to run ads on your page, you can just go directly to ads manager and you can start the process of running an ad campaign. I've created a detailed tutorial showing you how to run Facebook ads on your Facebook page. The link of that video is going to be in the description box, so you can go check it out after this. But since you're going to be running ads for a client, that is for another person's Facebook page, you will need what is called a business portfolio. A business portfolio is what is going to allow you to gain access to your client or to someone else's ads manager account. So in order for you to create a connection between your meta business suit, let's say this meta business suit and another person or a client's meta business suit, both of you will need to have a business portfolio. What that simply means is in your own meta business suit, you need to create a business portfolio. And in the client's own meta business suit, he or she would also need to create a business portfolio. Now, once both of you have a business portfolio, the client can then give you access to their pages and also their ads manager account, which you're going to be using in your own business portfolio to be able to run the ads. So we're going to be looking at all that as we progress in the video. So the first thing you're going to do is once you're in your meta business, you're going to go to the left and you're going to click on this drop down arrow and you're going to see where it says create a business portfolio. Click on create a business portfolio. Right here, you're going to give a name to your business portfolio and then you're also going to fill out your contact information like your name, your surname, and also your business email address. So you can use your email address here. Once you have done that, click the create button. So this is a business portfolio that we have created and you can see it says ROC advertising. So the next step, you're going to come to the settings of this business portfolio. You're going to see the settings option down here. So click on that and it's going to take you here. So you can see these different options on the left hand side. So on the people, which is a users, you can see the people who are in full control of this portfolio right here and we are the one i'm the one who is in full, full control because i just created this portfolio you can invite your client by clicking on the invite people option and then you can put in your client's email address and invite them to have full control of this portfolio so to give access to an ad account the client will need to create a business portfolio you have to know that you can only share an ad account through a business portfolio so the client will need a business portfolio with their ad account and then the agency will also need a business portfolio which they're going to use in order to accept the client's own ad account all right so let's go and see how it's done again you always have to remember that an ad account comes inside a business portfolio so in order to help the client to create an ad account the clients will need to have a business portfolio or to create a business portfolio. You're going to ask the client to follow these simple steps. The client is going to open up their page and go to the left-hand side and click on Meta Business Suite. So we're going to be doing the same thing we did when we're creating our own portfolio. Next is to click on the drop-down arrow and the client can go ahead to create a new business portfolio. But as you can see, the client already has a business portfolio created. So they can click on that settings icon 
and this is a business portfolio so once the client has created their business portfolio they can go ahead to add their page following the same steps by clicking the add button and then they can add their page here so once they have added the page that they want the agency to manage then the client can then go ahead to create an ad account so they'll click on add account here and then go to the blue button and click add and then click on create a new ad account now this will be the ad account that they are going to give the agency to run ads for their page so they'll click on create a new ad account and then first is to add given name to your ad account next is the time zone which you can click on the drop down arrow and choose your time zone here and the next is the currency we're going to leave it at usd dollars click next and then this ad account will be used for my business all right so click allow that one like that so just leave it like that and click the next button and the next is to agree to meta terms so just click on this little box tick it and then you can click create ad account now this is where you can add that you can just go directly here and add your payment info but you can also just leave it like that and you go directly to ads manager and start adding your payment info but then again if you want to add your payment info directly here fill in this box and click the next button right it's going to go to the next step which is to add in a credit card which is a prepaid credit card or a paypal account and you can go ahead to fill in these details from your credit card i'm going to leave a detailed tutorial that shows you how to add payments to your ad accounts how to add both a credit card or a paypal to your ad account all right so the ad account has been created and the final step which is to add payment method has already been added again the client doesn't have to add the payment method directly here they can simply go to the ads manager and add a payment method we're going to refresh this page and once you refresh it you're going to see the opening ads manager turn on so the client can then click on opening ads manager and they'll be able to open this ad account in ads manager and they can add their payments method next is to give the agency or the freelancer access to this ad account so for the client to give access to their ad account they're going to come right up here where it says partner so they're going to click on partners next the client is going to click on the add button which says partner to assign assets to so click on add this is where the client is going to put in your business portfolio id now to get access to your business portfolio id you're going to go to your own business portfolio and then next you're going to go to portfolio info and you're going to copy this id number with this id number you're going to send it to the client and then this is where they're going to paste the id number that you have given to them so they're going to paste it in here and then click next once the client is here the client is going to click on add account and the client is going to see the different ad accounts that are here so we have just one account ad account created in this business portfolio that is why you see this one just one here so the client is going to select the ad account which is research campus official so tick the box and then next is to give the access what type of access do you want the agency or freelancer to have on this other account so you can give partial access but again you can always remove the agency or freelancer from your other account so we're going to be giving it the full control click save changes so you can see that it says one ad account was assigned to ROC advertising, which is the agency, right? So you can just click, the client can just click done. And there you have it. The ad account has been assigned to the agency or to the advertising agency. And they can start running ads through this, through the client's own ad account. So if you take a look at the top, you're going to see the remove button just across ROC advertising shows that you can remove anybody, you can remove partners from your ad accounts. And you're also going to see the add button, the blue button which says add, meaning you can add other people, other partners to your ad account if you want maybe a different person to have access to your ad account and help you run ads for you. So come back to your business portfolio as the agency or the freelancer. And then you're going to go to add accounts. 
So as you can see, this is a client's ad account, Research Campus Official, that you have been given access to through your ID. To give permission to yourself to be able to use this ad account, click on Assign People. So these are the people who have full control over this portfolio. So you're going to click on, so you're going to choose it here, select the people here. Um, if you add other people, you're going to see their names appear here. But since it's just me, I'm going to select and then come here and give full control. And then click assign. So there you have it. You have assigned yourself or given yourself permission to use the ad account. So at this point, all you need to do is to just refresh this page so that the opening ads manager can be turned on. And you can see that opening ads manager is on. And the next thing you're going to do is to start running the ads. So to start, go to opening ads manager, click on that. It's going to load up the client's ad account and right here this is the ad account so this is where all the fun takes place if you take a look right up here it says research campus official so this is the ad account of the clients that you are inside right that the clients you the freelancer or you or the agency you're in so you can start running ads for the clients using their own ad accounts now if you take a look right down you're going to see ad payment method um it, it basically shows that the client hasn't yet added a payment method which they can just go directly and insert their ad account and add a payment method you can do it yourself because you also have access to their ad account which is this one so you can click on add payment method and you can go ahead to start adding payment methods so that is how you can easily gain access to a client's ad account and you can start running ads for a client I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And also, if you have any question, leave it in the comment section. I'll gladly reply to your questions. Now, if you want to see a full tutorial on how to run ads, I'm going to be leaving the link of that tutorial in the description box. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed to the channel. See you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching.